Have you ever seen those retro iPhones? They're supposed to look like the old Macintosh classic. Here's a picture of it. If you've ever heard of Colorware, they make a version of it and basically they paint it onto the back of your phone. They take all the innards out of your phone, put it in a new painted shell, and then they ship it back to you. But it costs $1,800. If you've heard of Slick Wraps or Dbrand, which is a similar brand, they make skins, which is basically a sticker that you can put onto the back of your phone. They have a ton of selections. You can just do one color, you can do um, a certain type of texture, and you can do a retro iPhone skin. So that's what we're gonna be unboxing today. Stay tuned. the retro iPhone skin was $1,800 and I just bought it, you're wrong. I wouldn't pay $1,800 for something that can go onto the back of my phone. So I bought a much cheaper version from Slick Wraps. It's 20 bucks and it should look exactly like the retro iPhone. So let's try this out. Now, I didn't buy the $1,800 colorway version so I can't really compare anything to this. I know there are a few small differences, but it shouldn't be anything major, so yeah. This is from Slick Wraps. I ordered it four days ago. And it was like 20 bucks, 1950 I think, but then I used a 30% off promo code that was only happening that day. Then that pretty much just got added back on. Um, from shipping. I think I paid like $16, so it wasn't 20, but it was a little bit off. So Let's take a look inside this envelope There's our retro skin. Whoa my receipt And that's it So you can see that the subtotal was 1984 for the skin Then it was shipping three dollars for just the standard four day um, discount was $6.94, 30% off, and then I paid, yeah, about 16 bucks. Looks like it was signed by the shipper or something, I'm not sure. So here's the retro skin. This is super cool. Um, now I know that the real retro iPhone doesn't come with this front piece. It's just a black front on the iPhone. So, right now on my iPhone I have a black, just a matte black dbrand skin. Um, so, you know, I'm switching over to Slick Wraps. We'll see if they're any better. Um, if you didn't know what the retro design looked like, it was this tan color. I think the real retro iPhone doesn't have these um, tan looking dash lines. I think they're silver and they're a little bit more shorter and spaced apart. And then also this colorful Apple logo has a little bit of like 3D texture on it, but it doesn't with the skin. I'm not disappointed because it was only 20 bucks. So I had to switch to a different camera in order to show my phone on camera. Like I said before, I'm not gonna be using this front piece. Um, I'm gonna set the sticker over aside and it comes with a microfiber cloth as well. And now we just have my dbrand skin like I said before. I have the matte black here. It's just plain old and it doesn't fit on there very well and I'm glad to be taking it off and putting the retro on. It's tough. They're not meant to come off. There we go. So now I have my bare iPhone right here, my bare space gray iPhone. So let's get applying this skin. Oh shoot, I did this wrong. Let's try it like this. There we go. 
So guys, like I said on my dbrand one, it didn't fit on the phone perfectly, but this is lining up extremely nice. This is the exact fit for my iPhone. Even around the camera here, holy crap, I am so amazed. I've never seen how precise this fit is. I wish dbrand would have done something like that. Well guys, so far this is looking extremely good. Now I just have to fold down all of the corners, then I'll be done. So I folded down all the corners and it turns out this is going to look great to other people's view. It's also gonna look great from the front too because the perfect amount of skin wraps around the sides to get that perfect viewing angle. Look, even the SIM card tray comes out with its own sticker. So the differences between the skin and the real retro iPhone I noticed after I got the skin completely on were the antenna lines at the top and the bottom, the 3D Apple logo, the lines on the side are looking a little bit silverish like I said before, and the number of course because there really there are only 25 real retro iPhones in the world. Holy crap guys, I just finished putting this thing on and I'm gonna be the first to say it. It's pretty slick. It's so amazing what you can get for $20 these days. I've never tried a slick wrap before. I've only purchased a one D brand skin before, but let me just say, I'm probably not going to be switching back to D brand. Sorry guys. Dang, this thing is so smooth. The previous matte black one I had from D brand had a little bit of texture to it, and I really like how this one is really smooth. One thing I don't really like is that the Apple logo doesn't have that 3D texture that the real retro iPhone has, although I can't complain. I also loved when I was able to line up the bottom cutouts and they also matched up at the top near my camera. My D brand didn't do that for some reason. Also, it comes with a sticker. Anyways guys, that's how you get the retro iPhone for $20 instead of $1,800. All in all, I think the skin will make my iPhone that much better and it will draw some attention. I never thought the day would come to technically say I have a retro iPhone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, drop a like on the video. And if you don't, nah, I won't really care either. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. And also, I just saved you $1,780.